the drug use and not being transparent how i usually eat in my fitness journey we can push back that unhealthy habits that's the strategy i choose <sighs> If there is anything I hate more than I'm warning you, I eat a lot. Living in the 21st century and still... Mm. I'll be writing the calories and details on the screen. Too much garlic, man. And the other 50% is diet. I feel kind of full. Good morning from a calm Sunday. Today I'll be showing my full day of eating how I usually eat in my fitness journey. I'm doing this because I see that the fitness industry is uh, going so unhealthy, let alone the drug use and not being transparent. But I'm also talking about the food and um, how unhealthy some people eat. And this is actually influencing uh, young people who are about to start their fitness journey. I just wanted to do something different than that and something healthier so that maybe we can push back that unhealthy habits. I don't count my calories. Since I eat healthy, I don't really worry about that. Another reason is that my metabolism is quite fast, so I don't really feel the need of counting my calories because it's just extra work. I spend that time in the shop while I'm choosing my food and ingredients they have. So that's the strategy I choose. I didn't have my breakfast yet. I'll start with that. I don't want to make this video too long and it's not a recipe video. You'll see my food, but you'll not see how I prepare them yet. But if you're curious about it, you can always comment down and ask for the recipe, then we can make it together. So let's start eating. But I'm warning you, I eat a lot. Let's see how it ends up now. I eat my sweet stuff in the morning before breakfast. I start with dark chocolate but not more than this. This is 90%. If possible, 100% is better. For me, it's hard to find that. But this also has so small amount of sugar. Mm. I enjoy it. So if you like chocolate, you can still enjoy it. I also try to eat some fruits in the morning before breakfast with empty stomach or during the day with empty stomach. Not more than two units because <laughs> they have uh, sugar and I don't want to have too much sugar. That also includes some dates. I found some organic dates. I, I eat like a couple of dates uh, in the morning before breakfast. Interesting fact, I never cry when I cut onions. Don't cry when you cut onions. Be a man. <laughs> this dish is called Menemen. It has two onions, some tomato paste, five eggs, five large eggs. Uh, it's not the entire thing. I'm just keeping the other part warm. And then the rest is one cucumber, several cherry tomatoes, some homemade bread. I made it by myself, gluten-free. That's it, some black tea with green tea infusion. Some more black pepper in this. And good to go. I'll be writing the calories and details on the screen. By the way, I didn't have peppers. Usually you put peppers in this and fry with onions a little bit. For me, it's not much difference. It's still tasty, but it's better with peppers. I feel kind of full, which is not too common, but this was good. I think this bread I have recently tried. It's a new recipe. It tastes amazing, but I think it's a bit dense and I've eaten all, of, all four slices and it is heavy, you know. <laughs> I think that made me kind of a little full. Now I know, so next time I will not exaggerate this. I usually have three meals a day with some small snackings like nuts and stuff uh, in between sometimes. Let's go for the lunch now. A good view. It wasn't so cold today. I decided to take a walk with a friend and her dogs. They were lovely. I think I already took like maybe 7,000 steps. I need to confirm it at home. I'm going back home now to have my lunch. I'm actually not sure what to cook. But I think I'll go for spinach with yogurt and some garlic sauce. Since I'm not gonna meet anyone for the rest of the day, I think it will be fine because the garlics will be raw. So see you at meal number two. Meal number two of the day. It's a spinach dish with yogurt, 
garlic, some rice and olive oil and a little bit of buckwheat. What else? I also put some ginger in it. Not too much, but that's a lot. I mean, I used almost half a kilo of spinach and with all of the other ingredients, it's almost a kilo, but I'm not gonna eat anything else with it. Just this. It's just lining the stomach before the dinner. I have like a small piece of bread. If I feel like the yogurt is kind of giving me a nausea, then I can maybe have it. I feel like I put too much garlic in it, but that's not a problem. I like garlic. It's just gonna be quite strong smell, I think, for a while. But who cares, I live alone, so. Some people say exercising is only 50% of the job and the other 50% is diet. I almost agree with that. Yeah, it's almost a full-time job altogether. <laughs> if you're really enthusiastic about something, then it's not a burden at all. And I think that's the most important thing. The garlic is so strong that it's making my eyes watering. Uh, I just put like three big uh, cloves of garlic. Usually it's not that much, but I think this one is a very good strong one, it seems. I like it. <sighs> Stomach happy. Too much garlic, man. My mouth is burning. See you at meal number three. Well, the final meal of the day is beef. I slow cooked it. It was approximately 700 grams. I'm planning to have it with some rice next to it and then some salad. The rice has some spices and some buckwheat in it. I start to put buckwheat in everything nowadays, I don't know why. I'm planning to make salad with carrot, beetroot and some avocado. And of course, apple cider vinegar in it and some lemon and of course, olive oil. Don't ask what these are. I might need to explain that in another video later on. But they are water. I'm just letting them sit there for a while. If there is anything I hate more than lemon seed in a salad, it's a few lemon seeds. <sighs> I like the sourish smell. Time to dive in. The calories and the other stuff will be written here soon. The full day of eating mission is complete. Now there are some dishes to do. The worst part of the deal, but it is what it is. It has to be done. Living in the 21st century and still doing the dishes by hand. Just joking, I am living alone, it's fine. All right, I hope you find this useful and um, hope to see you soon.